Does anybody remember the movie Madagascar? You know, it's a movie that is based around a quartet of animals ending up stranded on an island after a tragic accident. I watched a lot of DreamWorks movies when I was a kid. They were phenomenal and still are. There's a lot more of the Shrek franchise, but there's one memory that still haunts me in my head for days. It always will. It was a warm day in my area, not too hot nor too cold. I was browsing on my laptop looking on the classic DreamWorks films. At that moment, I got a notification on Google Mail. The message was from no other than DreamWorks. The email read this. Hello, DreamWorks then from Australia. We would like to privately share an alternate ending of one of our old films. Madagascar, made by a sack and made a James Winter stunt. After you watch this, please do not screen this anywhere. And regards, the DreamWorks team. I was surprised. I just got an email from DreamWorks. Well, this had to be a hoax. But you know, I received many emails from Pixar before, but I was pretty surprised. Maybe they actually hired employees to check their emails and responded. Maybe this is some sort of, um, gift. There was a link to the file, so I downloaded it straight to my laptop. I saw the file and its file name was Madagascar Alternate Ending Mouth. I had a bad feeling about this, however, I had the courage to watch it. I clicked on the file, but before the video played, there was a warning. Morning. This alternate ending of Madagascar was changed to match its demographic and has unsettling themes that are not suitable for children or people with sensory issues. If either you are a child or someone with sensory issues, please don't watch this. Your discretion is advised. I had a blank expression on my face. I hope it's just a parody ending. I spoke trying to reassure myself. I don't want to waste time, so I'll cut right into that point. The video started. It started with the scene where Marty Melman and Gloria were trying to escape from the fosses. The penguins then came to the rescue. However, there were too many fosses for the animals and penguins to fight. Just then, the gang heard a ferocious roar. This is the plan! Who's the Hulk? Coming from no other than Alex. Alex? Marty asked before punching a fossa in the face with his hoof. That's my kill! Mine! Alex said before dropping down to the ground, he proceeded to walk towards Marty, growling the king drained. Alex hungry. Alex eat. He spoke, still walking towards his best friend. Alex then bared his claws as the woman's music continued playing. A couple of the fosses sprinkled salt over Marty as the lane was still walking up to him. Alex's eyes begin to form into a shade of dark red, and when he moved his teeth towards Marty, instead of whispering it's your time as in the final film, he bit Marty on the neck. Marty screamed in an agonizing way, as if his actor Chris Rock was getting tortured. Melman and Gloria stared in shock at what was happening before exchanging glances. Alex continued gnawing his teeth in Marty's neck, until small drops of blood can be seen dripping from his neck. Then his eyes dilated. Alex pried his teeth away from Marty and the latter collapsed with no pulse. He then sucked the blood off his fingers and sighed in relief. That was a good test, is your bro? Said Alex before looking directly at Gloria and Melman. It cut to a shot of Alex staring at the two animals who are off screen as if he was staring at me. I felt extremely uncomfortable watching this. I closed my eyes until the staring was over. Melman broke the silence by shouting, Run! Gloria! Run! The giraffe and hippo then made a run for it before Alex chased after them on all fours. He lumped onto Melman and started begging him. Melman began screaming, but it wasn't comical, it was blood-curdling and agonizing. 
The hippo screamed watching her boyfriend being mauled by her friend turned predator. The blood was minor but it was still shocking to see Melman's corpse. His eyes were blank, his mouth was a gap and he was crying blood. Alex then slowly turned to Gloria, grinning sinisterly before saying, I'm hungry for some hippo! Gloria ran away screaming so she can find a place to hide as Alex chased after her. Gloria hid in a bush and she panted to catch breath. She looked through the bushes to catch sight of Alex but he was nowhere to be seen. Gloria sighed in relief. However, she heard a voice saying, Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos! Gloria turned around it was Alex with his pupils delighted. Alex, please, we're your friends. Not food, no need this. Gloria pleaded. Steer me your lays, Hippo, your friend is gone, and I'm involved to my hunger for food. Alex said as he stared right at Gloria before the latter launched onto her. It then cut to a shot of the bush rustling as we could hear Alex roaring and Gloria letting out a realistic blood-curdling scream. The screaming stopped as soon as the bush stopped rustling. It then cut to the penguins alone in the rocky setting. Well, boys, this is it. The line has come down a dark path. Skipper said Provit began to sob, but his sobbing was rather realistic. I don't want to be poppy. I'm just a cute little penguin. Cole Scott heard Alex Rose. It seems like we've done for. The elder says be on that finesse. He remarked worriedly. Alex emerged from the bushes and walked up to the four penguins. It was nice knowing you, boys. It was nice knowing you, Skipper said sadly. Alex began to pick Private up with his doll while the latter screamed before swallowing him whole. <coughs> Rico was shocked before he started to run. Skipper and Koska ran too. Alex bounced on Rico and ate him whole too. <coughs> Koski, what do we do now? Skipper asked in concern. Koska thought for a second before saying, we had to get to the cruise ship before any other predators tried to consume us. Affirmative, Skipper said. The two remaining penguins ran through the forest, catching sight of the cruise ship as seen earlier in the film. However, Alex jumped out from a bush like a dump scare and attacked Kowalski rolling off screen. <coughs> I can hear Kowalski's agonizing scream as he was being eaten alive by Alex. Skipper watched in horror before falling to his rear and sulking. You're next! I'm involved! Alex teased as he slowly approached Skipper. Alright! Maybe we should talk this over and think about being friends! Right! Skipper said. Not a chance, then I'm already hungry at the tip of my claws. Alex yelled. He showed a shot of Skipper's point of view of Alex's face until he threw his face forward with a slack go, and it cut to black with Skipper screaming. <laughs> It then faded to a scene where the fosses were chatting. Dust then Alex approached the hideout. My fosses, I'm now your king. We pray, we hunt, we and we roam but down to me. Alex monologue. The fosses bowed to Alex, accepting him as their king. He then lifted his head up and roared into the ski. The fosses then roared with him alongside as dramatic music played while the camera panned into the gray cloudy ski. It then faded to black. I was appalled. I had never seen a twisted version of Madagascar. I grasped with my hands over my face as if I were crying. I never knew people could add creepy things in animated DreamWorks films like what they do with picture. I then went to delete the file, but I thought it would be a good idea if people would believe me. I posted the video to Google Drive and sent my friends a link via mail. They were appalled too. Madagascar was a good movie from my childhood, but what I saw will always be in my nightmares forever. James Winterstone is technically the DreamWorks counterpart of Adam Kennington. Be careful what links you click on.